Good night people, it's Emulator Showdown. This will be a tutorial video about the MapleStory 3DS game that never had an English release. So with this patch we will make it English. As you can see I have a few folders. In the first folder I got my backup of the decrypted game and in the second folder it contains the English patch. The third folder contains the program to patch the game. So our first step, step is moving the game inside the patch folder to the pack hack to be specific. The next step is just changing the name back to an easy name like just Maple. Our next step is to head over to the pack hack folder and run setup us. This will be done pretty fast so we can now go ahead and start up hacking tools kit 3ds and here press D and enter. Now we write down the name of the file which is maple. We hit the N key when they ask for decompression. And now the progress will begin. The pack hack folder will get filled with files and folders when it's finished. In the meantime we go to the English patch folder which we had downloaded. So go into the map maple folder and copy these folders. You can now minimize the hacking tool 3DS program. Let's copy these inactive movie reaction and stage folders into this place. And now move them over to extracted ROM FS. Since we now replace the Japanese files with our English files, we will have to rebuild the new ROM with the included English patch. So we write R and enter. Here we give it a name like Maple Patched and hit enter. When it's done, our patched game called Maple Story Patched will be in the same folder, the Pack Hack folder. Alright, it's done and I've moved the game into my folder where I keep all my games, so let's check it out. By the way, there is a little problem at the beginning of this game, but it's a minor thing. When it's creating a new save game, it will crash and it won't continue, but you will just have to restart the game and it will let you continue. So I'll show it to you right here. As you can see, there's a black screen and nothing happens. So only thing we have to do is restart. As you can see in the credits, the translation patch has been a success. This gameplay footage runs on 4.4 GHz at the moment, but I will also include lower clock speeds after this footage, so you can see what FPS you could expect.
With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. The download links will be in the description. For information about the game ROM, you can send me a private message as always. I hope the tutorial was clear, but if you still have some questions, you can always leave it in the com comments. I hope to see you again in another video, and good luck!